Anyone is having any doubts? It's good, sir. Sorry, it's clear. Yeah. So continue the session. See, yesterday we have discussed about the um, table. Why table required data stored in the database in the form of table only. So that's the reason we knew about the table. So with respect to the table, we need three parameters. One is table name, another one is column name, another one is the data type. So table name we have discussed. What are the restrictions for the table create? What are the rules we need to follow the follow it? The same way, column column name also we have discussed. With respect to the database, to the database, we have multiple data types. So we have started character data types and we have combined it. So there are four data types in the character data type: char, var char, var char to c lab. C lab is a character large object, which we can discuss in the large object data type. We can discuss there. So you know char and var char too. Even var char, it will convert it to the char var char two only. Okay. So if you see just uh, for example name column char, we have given ten, but we are inserting the data five bytes, winky five bytes, remaining five bytes. Like that, it will apply. Five bytes data, remaining five bytes is the blank space. So that's the reason. Whatever you entered with respect to the char, it is a five bytes or two bytes, three bytes. Remaining remaining bytes, it will apply the blank space. Whereas in var char two, remaining five bytes, it will send back to to the database. Whatever you give, it will for example, if you try to enter five bytes, it will try to allow you to enter the five bytes only. So you know, right? What are the differences? The dynamic data type, uh, char is the static data type. After the blank storage, my expense is two thousand bytes, whereas we are kept to four thousand bytes. Okay. So today we can start number data type. Number data types. So in number data types, we use we use number and integer data types. Number and integer data types. So number data type. Number is a data type. Precision comma scale. Number. Precision p scale. So here precision is a mandatory. So scale is a mandatory, guys. Here scale is mandatory or not mandatory? Study we have discussed. Anyone? Anyone? So this bracket indicates mandatory. So this bracket indicates it's a optional, it's a not mandatory. That's your wish, whether you need to, whether you need to use it or not. Okay, this bracket indicates mandatory. This bracket indicates optional. That's your wish, whether you need to use it or not. So why we use number data type? It is used to store the number data into a column. Whenever you required, for example, if you take it as a bank account number, that should be a numeric data, right? So by that time, what we will do? We will take for that column as a number data type. If you take a LIC policy, LIC policy number has a unique queue number. It should be in a queue because one policy belongs to one customer only, right? I mean, one policy ID. Same policy ID should not be there another customer. So by that time for ID, we will give number data type. Even if you are taking somebody details, like 
mobile number or some other things which is having the numeric data so those columns you have to declare the number data type so whenever we used we need to store the number data into a column so that column we have to give the number data type see example sl number student number so number is a number numeric data so that's the reason we have we have, we have declared the number data type with the size of 4 with the size of 4 so salary number data type 7 comma 2 so here why we have taken 2 is a precision scale here we haven't taken so scale is indicate the decimal value scale is indicate the decimal value so salary sometimes like uh, credit card bill or salary there is a decimal value also right like if you take the credit card so they will the credit card bill you will receive the decimal value also so decimal value is the very very important with respect to the credit card for example you received the 20000 50 paise so if you paid only 20000 so they will consider that is as we haven't paid full full amount we have paid partial amount so for that for that paise we have to 50 paise if you didn't pay for that next month it will be around 1500 1600 extra amount we have to pay gst gst late payment this all this all they will they will put like uh, they will apply to the our credit card because they will consider that is as not full amount we have paid so for a decimal value is very very important with respect to the numeric so whenever you require to store the decimal value also then you have to you have to use the scale whenever you need to insert the integer value then you have to go for the precision okay these all are the examples column name is salary number data type 7 comma 2 so it is a dynamic data type it is same as varchar to dynamic data type so if you declare 20 bytes but you are inserting only 5 bytes remaining 15 bytes it will it will send back it to the database it is a dynamic data type so the maximum size is 38 bytes for the number data type maximum size is 38 bytes for the number data type okay maximum size is 38 bytes for the number data type next so here four bytes so if you give four bytes means there is a chance to the four value it's a positive or it's a negative value so that's the reason this column we have in, we have mentioned number four types so this sl number column allowed you to insert minus double nine double nine two double nine double nine minus double nine double nine two double nine double nine because because we have declared four bytes four bytes so one one number i mean one one digit indicates the one one byte so here four bytes means four digits it will allow so either a positive or negative that's the reason we have given minus double nine two double nine double nine because next it will become 10,000 means that will be 5 bytes. So with respect to, to the salary number, observe here guys, 7 comma 2. Here 7 indicates total digit of a number which includes the digit, which includes the decimal value also. Here total 7 means 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. So along with the decimal value, total length of the numeric number which we are inserting, the 7 indicates that. Within 7, the scale indicates 
within the seven two two digits are the decimal value last two digits are the decimal value that's the reason the digit digit number will be in five number here decimal is a two numbers total is seven bytes within seven bytes two bytes are i mean two digits are two digits are the decimal value so if you observe here digit where digital value is a total five bytes remaining two bytes are scale that's the reason we mentioned here star i mean dot decimal clear so i will show you practically so 7 comma 2 bytes so 7 minus 2 5 bytes is the digit 2 bytes is the scale total is the 7 bytes now we can see practically so for example when you try to retrieve the data you see by default same column names many time it is repeating for 3 3 rows of the data again column names are coming because it is a line size it is a page size so by default line size is a, some some less and uh, same page size is also not more than the whatever is the default one so that's the reason the view it is not good because every time columns are repeating and rows are repeating to avoid that we will increase the we will increase the line size and page size set by using set man set line size so let's say set line 200 set page size 200 now if you give see the view is good right now so the line it will take 200 bytes the page it will take 200 like this down clear so even once you get the like once you enroll i will let you know how to install the software then you can proceed further so now we can see the practical now so create table stud Four. So, how to create a table, guys? What is the syntax to create a table? Create table, table name, sir. Table name. Next, open parentheses. Open parentheses. Next, column name. Column name. Column. So, just I am taking cell number. Number table. Please go on with when this comes. Whenever you speak, you just open it. Okay. So number data type, I just have to declare some four bytes. So comma next column. Next column is student name. So name means which data type we have to declare? Today we have discussed right? Char sir. So where char? Char what char? So char why we have we should not take that is a static data type. So if you take care, how much bytes you declare, that many bytes it will take. That is a not dynamic data type. So care we used to take was as much as we have to avoid. We can take wherever it is a fixed length data type. So if you take male, that is fixed length M. If you take female, that is a fixed length. So that type of situation you have to take wherever you feel that is a fixed length data type. Then you can go for the care. So your name. Some people can have ten bytes name. Some people can have twenty bytes. Based on the length of the name, your size will increase and decrease. So that means here we need the dynamic date type. So name is I just take an S thing. Okay. Now so this is if we give ed means guys this is. Afi dot byte on file. So like editor. So we just to give edit means it will open one temporary Afi dot by buff file is the notepad. So whenever we are writing code in the notepad, I mean this editor, we should not give the delimiter. 
delhi metro remember that so to close this one just alt f4 or else to just to give like this so both it will last same just to give save so it will come to this it will come to the here environmental tool sql plus is a environmental tool which is using for the interact with the database we have other tools as well we have other tools as well like sql developer pl sql developer those we can discuss further so to run this code to run any statement in sql we have three commands so one is when we are writing in code in statement in the sql plus we need to give delimiter when you are using the editor we need to give forward slash like this what is the issue name is already using by the using an existing object so same name is having the another object we have to change the name of the table so table is created student 5 so now to check the table structure what we have need to do guys which command we have to use to check the table structure describe select to start from now that is to retrieve the data to retrieve okay. or to read the data table structure if you want to see table structure means for example if you give the select or from emb here we can see only table columns and we can see the data only so we we are not allowed to see what is the data type for this column how much bytes they have declared whether this column will accept the null values whether this column is not accept the null values these all are the not possible when you retrieve the data so so those things will be available in the table structure only if you want to see the table structure you need to follow the describe the table to describe the table desc is the command so desc table name std io so now you can see number first column name this is this is the data type so sl number it will allow you to enter numeric data 4 bytes student name it will allow you to enter string or character data with the maximum 10 bytes so now try to insert it so you no need to about this insert command usually we will discuss in dml insert into just cud five values so student number i am taking 1001 okay here and cut i will take it as and cut so one row inserted so now i will try to take 1011 what is the error value larger than specified precision allowed for this column where it is raising error here this column first column that column is sl number so what is the error with this column wherever is error there star will indicate guys so that you can easily understand where is the error value larger than specified precision allowed for this column so here you mention 4 that means by default it is a precision so it does not allow the it doesn't allow the decimal values because we haven't declared the scale when you declare the scale when you declare the scale then only it will allow you to insert the decimal values so if you declare like this by default it is a precision not a scale precision doesn't allow the decimal values so here what is the error guys any idea value larger than specified precision allowed for this column how many bytes we are inserting here five sir five bytes so every every single 
character word the letter or every single number it will indicate one byte so here one two three four five bytes so what is the what is the maximum size we have declared for this sl number column to store the data what is the four. size four. Four. four here we are trying to insert the five bytes but maximum it will take only four bytes that's the reason the value which you are entering that is larger than this is larger than specified precision specified precision allowed for this column so here we have specified only four bytes but we are trying to insert the five bytes to insert the data that's the reason it raised the error if you ray if you enter 10 101 it will take it see because three bytes if you take it just 10 it will take if you take just 1 it will take see now select star from to read or to fetch or to retrieve the data from table select star from table see so within this it will allow within 4 bytes maximum is 4 minimum whatever you need you can give it but more than 4 bytes it doesn't accept to, to insert the data clear so now now we can see the decimal value so now what is the maximum size we have take precision what is the maximum size total 4 so now what i will do um 1 2 3 dot 44 1 2 3 dot 44 one row inserted but select star from select star from cud5 why here 1 2 3 only taking why it is not taking decimal value only precision is given for in the data type yes very good so we have declare only precision we haven't declared the decimal i mean scale when you declare the scale value only then it will allow to insert the decimal value so now create table stud6 creating new table column is cell number Seven comma two. I have taken seven comma two. So if you try to insert the values, if you try to insert the values. Only one column. So now, what is the maximum size along with the decimal here? How many bytes it will accept along with the decimal? Nine. Seven. along with the decimal it will take 7 bytes within this within this within this precision is the 5 bytes 2 is the scale that is what we mention 7 comma 2 means total bytes that is total bytes is the 7 bytes 7 minus 2 5 bytes is the precision 5 bytes is the precision Two bytes is a scale. So now, if you try to insert, it will allow you to insert because precision here three bytes and two bytes are the scale. What is the total here? Three, four, five. Total is the five bytes. Example. Now you can see one row create. Now you can see the data. Scale three. Six or seven six. Why only two it has taken? First we have taken, we have inserted one two three dot four four. Here one two three dot double four. Even if you give four five six seven, row is inserted in the scale. Row is inserted in the scale, but here it is taking only this one. Why? Here four four only taken. 
year four six is it has taken why because the the variable only accept two the uh, characters like as scale after the decimal yes very good after the decimal the scale we have declared only two digits it has to take so okay first we have inserted two digits it has taken to well and good next we have digit under the three digits but it has taken two but there year take year it has taken four four only here when you inserted four five six seven why it has taken six so when the decimals are more by default it will round the value so the second value so here maximum two it has to take right maximum two what is the second maximum one five so if it is 0 0.5 and above i mean 5 and above then it will take as a six round it will take six if it is see second value is the four it is the below five the value of the second value because why it will depend on the second value we have declared the two digits only first two digit it will take second digit it will check whether the second digit is the five and above five and above means it will take next value next value means five six seven means it will take the 0 0.567 so rounded value is the six if you take here six 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 seven it will take as a seven if it is take seven it will take as a eight if it is the four second value is the four then directly it will take as a four only because four is a below 0 0.5 there so you no need to worry about this how it is taking we will discuss there is a round function round function so same how we are discussing the data types for every data type there are the functions for every data type there are the functions so character functions number functions in number functions we can discuss how does it how that will take just you can remember if you mention the scale two that will allow you to take the only two digits of the scale so now what is the precision here how many bytes it will take precision maximum size is seven bytes within seven two is the scale now what is the precision How many bytes, guys? Five, sir. Five bytes. So now precision is the three bytes only. But same I will give four, five, six, seven, eight. It will insert because if you observe maximum size, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bytes. But it will allow to insert because the 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 numeric data how it will how it precision now precision we are giving here precision we are giving here one to five bytes scale we are giving two bytes it will insert now if you observe I am giving six precision why it is raising error? Precision we are giving six bytes the data. But what is the maximum precision it will allow? Five, sir. Five. But when you, when scale is a two bytes only, but when you give four bytes also it will round. Because decimal values always it will round. Integer values, it's a never round because that is the actual value. Decimal value, if a round is a, there is no change much. But when it is comes to the integer, it, if it is change means the value it will get change. The simply you have to remember, if you put, for example, if I put in comma four, what is the precision here? I can allow to enter. What is the precision? Six, sir. Six. 
how it will come in minus scale is the six six is the precision the same way what is the scale here scale is the four scale is the four understood guys precision always whatever we declare 10 comma 4 means precision always it will do the minus on the the scale 10 minus 4 simply whatever value is there means 10 minus 4 is the precision 4 is the scale that you have to remember clear guys so now we can create one more table table name is to d7 i just to give special number integer integer you need to remember guys and one more column i will take same uh, phone number is a number data type i am not declaring any size so integer and a number I am not declaring any size. Any size. So here size is mandatory for number and scale. Sir, number and integer. What is the maximum size the, does it will take, guys? Maximum size. 48 bytes. But here you declare the student number is the integer data type. But why it is taking number data type here? So how varchar data type will convert it to the varchar to the same way integer data type will converted as number data type, which is the maximum size of 38 digits. What is the maximum size for number data type, guys? 38 bytes we can insert. 38 bytes means like this. Like this, number 38 bytes we can insert. 38 digits we can insert. Maximum. The integer data type will convert automatically to the number data type with the maximum size. So that's the reason it then even you declare the integer data type SL number column converted to the number data type and with the maximum size of 38 digits. So why phone number column is phone number column is not showing any byte any bytes here. We haven't declared any bytes here, but you can try to insert the data for that now. You see, UD7 values. Cell number is 100, else 1, 1. So number I will give. Yeah, there. What is happening? I am increasing the number. What is happening, guys? So even though it is taking longer number, so is it having more than 38 bytes or not? Sure. But how why it is taking? We said we said maximum size is 38 digits, uh, digit for the number data type. But it is taking more than that. Any idea? So when you declare, while you are declaring the maximum size you can allow to declare 38 digits only. While declaring, you are 
you are you are able to insert you are you can declare maximum size is maximum size is eight eight digits only see then i declare so numeric precision specifier is out of range so we have to declare if you want to declare one to thirty eight digits so if you you may you may now ask me my requirement is now uh, the column has to be more than 38 digits it has to take there are 40 by 40 digit uh, or else 90 digits of the value is there for this column in your requirement you need to insert by the time what we have to do so you just after you just simply don't declare any size for that don't declare any size for that so then by that time it will allow what is the maximum value that will allow you insert while you are declaring declaring in the sense like this guys it is a column it is a data type for the data type how much bytes it has to be stored we are indicating we are declaring so when you are declaring, if you declare more than 38 digits, it is not allowing you to create the table. Because while declaring, while declaring, you can allow to you insert only, we can allow you to declare only 38 digits. If your requirement is more than 38 digits has to be insert, just you can leave. You can leave. Here you don't declare anything. So number data is a dynamic data type, right? So it will allow you to insert like maximum size, how much like 40 bytes, 90 bytes, anything. If it is less, like here less bytes I have inserted. Remain that much bytes only it will take. Like this, that much bytes only it will take. There is no restriction that you have to insert this much data only. So here, what do you understood? If you declare the size, maximum size is 38 digits. Minimum is one. If you don't declare, if you no need to declare any size, there is no limit. You can declare more than 38 digits also. You can declare more than 38 digits also. Next, whenever you declare like this, Without scale, by default, that is a precision. Whenever you declare along with the along with the scale, this second number will indicate the scale. Precision is precision is first number minus second number. Ten minus four is the precision. That is one more point. So next one more point is it's a dynamic data type. So next point is in integer, integer data type automatically will converted with the maximum size of 38 digits. It will convert it to the number data type. But always how we used to do, if we are numbers, we used to declare the size in real time. And as well as we just to declare the integer. Because we never get more than 38 digits data. I never seen in my experience. We just to declare student ID, SID space integer. We declare because automatically it will convert it to the number data type, then maximum 38 digits. Why we will put maximum 38 digits? We never know, right? Uh, when we get the data more, when we get the let data less. So that's the reason we will give maximum size. In Varchar 2, we used to declare like 200, 255, like that. Clear? Anyone is having any doubts on uh, character data and number data type? So, even if you have doubts, we will take up at last of the session, end of the session. No worries on that. So now, 
so we have completed the character data type so number data type we have discussed so with number data type there are other data types as well see number integer this two we have covered so there is a float binary float binary double binary float binary float binary double if you want you can if you want so mostly i never seen in my experience like without declaring size for the number because if someone for example how it will be real time in any project you have joined company after 3 years or 1 year or 6 months you have moved to some other company so in your in your place it is a cycling process right to hire the resource somebody will come to the project if they see the table how they can understand how much bytes you have how much maximum data type you have declared for that if you put just a number that that cannot show the data right just if you if you see if you see describe of describe of ud7 see we never know right what you have to do what you have done here so by the time if you want to declare to know some other people also to increase the value of the like mean, i mean precision you can you, you can also use float but float doesn't have option to mention the scale it will allow you to insert the only digit number i mean integer number it never allowed you to enter the scale even integer also integer also see if you take the integer do we allow to insert the uh, decimal value we declare as we declare sl number is the integer data type right so by default number 38 it has taken 38 is the maximum size so here we are not allowed you we are not allowed to insert the decimal values because there is no scale there is no scale integer means without decimal number whatever the numbers that is the, the integer values integer values in the numeric perspective the same way float is having only option to mention the precision precision there is no option to mention the scale but we usually we never use this three only we use number and integer if any cases they use like you like in place of i said right here in place of number phone number just we declare number so it, it doesn't mention the space size here so by the time you can have alternate option to use the float also more than 38 digits if you want to mention means float also how we have to declare column name float then size so it will allow you maximum is 126 bytes 126 bytes it will allow you to use the insert the data So the same way binary float, binary float data type is used to binary precision. This data type requires five bytes, including the length length byte. So we never use binary float and float double. You just to know binary flight and binary flight is binary float is is thirty bit. It will support to thirty bit. Software, you know, right? Any software, it will be available in market. Thirty-two bit, sixty-four bit. How do you need to know those things? Example, I'm connecting to my data type. I'm connecting to my data. See, once you connect, Oracle database, Lavengi Enterprise Edition, releases. 11.2.04 version 
60 bit 4 production. So my software is a 64 bit. But when you try to declare this binary float, it doesn't accept this one because it will support only 32 bit softwares. Sorry, uh, it will support to the 64 and 34 because whenever 64 bit softwares, both 32 bit and 64 bit will accept. If you install 32 bit software, only it will support 32 bit software only. 64 is higher version, right? So that's the reason 32 and 64 both will support. When you install 32 bit, 64 doesn't support. So you need to know these things. Just to remember that number we have float and binary float and binary double as well. But in we use we use in our real time just to number and float. That's the reason I explained these two things. We no need these three. Okay. <clears throat> Next date data type, date time data types, date time data types. Um, guys, if I take another 15 minutes, do you have any issues? Anyhow, it, today is a weekend, right? So that we can complete date time, date types as well. Anyone is having any issues? If you have any issues, just raise your hand. Okay, fine. So date time data types is used to store the data, date and time values, date and time values. In name itself, it will indicate date time data types is used to store the date and time values. It's so very, very, very important guys. Without date time, date and time timestamp date types, we never have any report if you are in business intelligence type w 4 b we never without date report date field i mean column we never have a report so even if we come to the database everything should be captured with the date time date type only so if you go to the transaction atm if you have done one transaction that has to be take your date and time and location where you have withdrawal and ATM ID and yeah, that's it. Your account number. These are all the things it has to be captured. How it will capture? We will mention in the transaction table. Automatically it has to capture by using some procedures. The table we mention for the transaction is timestamp data type. Timestamp data type. Timestamp data type. So now we can see. So it is used to store the date and see here mistake, date and time values. So Oracle, I mean SQL, SQL server automatically converts character value into default date format. That's the reason we have to mention always dates into single quotes only whenever you try to insert this date values you must have to declare date values in the string quotes only single quotes only then only for the sql server will understand that it is a string data when the string data is having the valid date format when string data is having the valid date format what is the default format of date for any database is DD, MON, YY. MON in the sense, first two, three digits of the short form of the month. January means JAN. February means FEB. December months DEC. June means JUN. Short form, three digits, three letters only. Three letters. <coughs> Okay, so DD, MON, YY is the default format. Default format. So date and time 
their types are used to store the store the date and time values date and time values whenever whenever when you are trying to insert whenever string is whenever you are inserting the date and time values you must have to use the within single quotes only whenever the string data is having valid date format then automatically sql server converts the into the date so there are two data types are there in the date time date and time date types we have two date types one is date data type another one is the time stamp date type one is the date data type another one is the time stamp date type so date data type is used to store only valid date valid date so like this it will store dd mm or yyyy time stamp is used to store along with the time that's it date is used to only store the date so with respect to trans with respect to transaction either phone pay or any transaction which you are doing with respect to to the bank which data type you have to use guys which data type you have to use qr code to sir no date date i am telling you which data type i wanted to store the date and time as well which data type you have to store use now date so if you want to store the date and time both then you have to use the time stamp data type if you want to store only date without time then you have to go for the date just simply date means it will store only date time stamp means it will store along with the time along with the time so with the transaction now transaction means any transaction because for example you have you have went for one atm one location you have taken for example hyderabad for one day you have same day you have withdrawal 5000 in the let us take example now so that it will be clear for you so here so venkat into the amir pet so amir pet amir pet atm from my bank withdraw the 5000 rupees what is the importance of time stamp you can see so same day event same day dilsuk nagar and you withdraw the 10000 rupees same day he went to the panjagutta then he withdraw the 5000 rupees same day he went to the some paradise area lagdi kapul then he withdraw the some 20000 so what happen when you try to insert when you try to withdraw amir pet the amount has came dilsuk nagar amount has came but panjagutta amount has detected in my account amount has detected deduct in my account but i didn't receive the amount amount has deducted but i didn't received it from the atm but i didn't receive amount from the atm atm here also transaction successful today i also have received the amount so i have waited next day whether amount will be 5000 my amount will be auto credited to my account or not no next day no so 3 days i waited amount has not came so next my step is what what i need to do 
I need to go for my branch, my bank. I have to go for the bank, and I have to tell them. So and so, some tenth Jan, I have tried to do. Uh, I have withdrawal my amount, sort of five thousand amount as tenth Jan two thousand two two five thousand amount as detected, but amount has not came from the ATM till my amount is not created back. So what they will do? The transaction table can have huge data, huge. One, one, one guy. If you take, there are those bank, bank. They are having at least ten thousand customers. If you take ten thousand, means if they are do any one or two transaction for a day, it will take huge, huge amount of transaction. For the transaction table is now having the <clears throat> having the. Some twenty thousand records, records in the sense rows. So the bank employee try to check based on his account number in the transaction table, in the transaction table based on this date. So it is it possible to check twenty thousand records because there is no time here. It's very difficult for the employee to find out, right? Find out, but because this this column is having the only date data type. Date means it will store only date. For example, if the column is having, if the column is having timestamp data type, it will capture like this timestamp so on so on. Some sixteen, sixteen, sixteen means. 4 pm 16 from 32 minutes 0.5 seconds five seconds now the table column is having with time stamp the when he the when when venkat show to the bank employee slip uh, the slip which he received from the atm so the slip is having this time stamp means they can easily understand right they can easily find out What is the issue? Whether amount came, whether whether amount has been came out or whether amount is not detected, because we are having the time there. If without time, the bank employee doesn't able to un find out the trans transaction. That's very difficult. That's the reason we use always this time. And one more example. So transaction why we use. Time stamp data type now you know right. So to capture like this, we need the time stamp data type. For example, you are working in the some on company. You are working in some HCL company, some other organization. You are working in. So the HCL has to be the ST HCL has to be save their employee details. So employee details means employee ID, employee ID, employee first name, next to employee second name, then date of birth, then date of join must they have to store because when they are providing you the experience letter, they have to check that one when you have joined. Next one is phone number. Some address. If somebody will get out some accident, some issues in the office, they have to indicate to your parents. So some address. So now same. So date of join. Date of join indicates indicates only date data type because so we we no need the time there when he join. In on the day whenever he joined. It will treat it as that day, same. So date of join is the date data type. Next, it is very very important, guys. So now they are every company they have main they are they are main they are like they have put some restriction that you have to maintain the nine and a half hour in the office. So that is automatically capturing in the, into the your uh, uh, your time sheets as well. Automatically decapturing. 
when you have entered to the office when you out to the office how many times you went to out everything it will capture how that will calculate and how it will automatically populate into your your time sheets any idea <clears throat> anyone is having idea some people who are working in real time uh, they knows very clear how feel for so when you joined your organization they will give some access card to you when you swipe this card when you swipe this card at the front gate of at the front gate of company then only you can allow to you to enter then only you can allow to enter to the enter to the office am i right if it is not accessed when you swipe if it is not accessed you can't able to enter the office that's the reason they will give on a uh, access card to you whenever you need to enter the office in main gate you have to put your access card as well as within the office there are four or five towers so if, for example you belongs to second tower in again tower in again with in down uh, i mean ground floor of the tower there will be a one more one more access like you need to swipe there also then it will enter then when it is swipe is success then only you can allow to you enter the office so now <coughs> the day when you enter the day when you enter morning for example you entered 9 am so first it will accept 9 10 am from 9 to 22 seconds am so automatically it has to capture that time next you came for lunch out you came for some break out so every time it has to it has to it has to capture your time even you left from the office left from the office is from 5 5:30 5:30 5 means 17 so now how it how they will calculate for login time for that day first in first last out this is the first in this is the last out then they will they will they will they will calculate in between this how many hours are there in between this how many hours are there then they will automatically create some programs to populate in your to populate in your time sheet so now here the day which you entered for example 11th 11th july from 2022 if it is capture only date if it is capture only date without time stamp so is it can we able to find out the how many hours you have stayed in the office is it possible is it possible to count no sir no right so if you save only without time if you save only date if you save only date without time then it's very difficult for you to for you very difficult how many hours the employee stayed on that on the table one second guys
so it so in that situation which time stamp we have to do so it has to capture first in and last out so we must and should use the time stamp data type because time stamp data type store the date and time both in with respect to the date of birth we no need the time so by that time we have to use the date data type clear guys did you understood yes sir so we just simply we can use like this create table table name is stud9 date for example now student id is a id which data we have to declare number number data type for example 10 student number name what i have to declare guys where care to where care to um 15 by 10. next next student name number next to date of birth what do i have to take in guys date of birth which date so date there is a date of date of join join also i don't require the time stamp but let's see just to can declare it so you describe the to you d9 clear date and time stamp so even if you never declare the time stamp size you no need to declare guys you no need to declare size automatically it will take clear that is the date time date types so we can continue tomorrow um this one so the three is completed main three is completed tomorrow we can discuss about the remaining three like large objects la these three these all are the main three which we use frequently these three we can discuss tomorrow if anyone is as join today can you please raise your hands anyone is join newly guys this is my number what i am bringing either whatsapp or call you can call me so if anyone is missed yesterday sessions there is a youtube channel venki tech solutions venki tech solutions go to the playlist playlist in playlist there is a june batch june batch within that last three sessions i have uploaded last to three sessions anyone is join newly today no i can see some names kiran jaili jani arvind are you joining newly today mr raki yes sir newly If, this is the fourth session um, arvind so last two i mean first two sessions are just introduction yesterday onwards is practically started so you can go to that youtube channel winky tech solutions so once i end up the meeting you you last these things you can if you need you can capture these details okay so raki okay this is my first first today but it is best session i ever joined thanks raki thanks for the uh, your feedback thank you so much thank you sir. thank you so much so uh, and one more thing i have to update so first five days i said uh, say free sessions tomorrow also free session so i will try to give one or two more extra free sessions as well so i feel whatever subject i need to convey to you so till that subject i will give free sessions all free sessions will be uploaded into the youtube okay so after that if you if you willing to continue then you have to enroll the course 
with the fee phase fee basis okay so if you have any doubts on the fee or other things you just contact me this is my call, whatsapp for uh, um, this one call i will be available you just contact me we can discuss okay 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 anyone is having any doubts guys if anyone is willing to uh, like um, enroll now itself you can contact me and you can pay the fee and you can uh, like you can enroll so that i can share you uh, i can uh, i can allow you to, uh, to record the daily session and i will tell you the software how you need to install i will share with you those details with you. so that you can you can install this software in your mission and whatever we discuss in the class you can practice on the daily okay sir yeah yes please so actually we are using sql plus uh, environment sir but i can use sql server management studio is there any problem sir that's not at all an issue keep um for every there are different database sql server you are using yes sir i mean your database is ms sql oh yes sir so that's not a problem here for my oracle database it is sql plus for sql okay. the, uh, for oracle database there is a sql developer tool the same way sql we have the that is one more tool okay if you want to practice you can uh, i will tell you how to install this software and you can install that one as well okay okay this are so why i am not explaining you in the tool this right now if i explain in this tool you may get like uh, uh, confused environmental tool is the uh, uh, for explanation very good because we can see previous uh, whatever we can scroll up and we can scroll down whatever we can discuss here we can able to see i can compare and i can explain what is the issue previous why it is allowed you to insert what is not allowed you to insert i can compare in excel but when i use this tool i cannot compare because the output comes once if i run one more query one more output it will come that's the reason i am not explaining when you come to the real time see like this we can write the codes so by that i mean i mean advanced concepts we can discuss those things in these tools so you know right case decode very very important we use like this codes we will write it in pl sql we will write longer programs okay these are all the things we can dis discuss in pl sql that is the skill we will use uh, like uh, this tool whenever like uh, after completing some of the basic this is the basic right 